on the next Baywatch. And action! Matt dives in over his head. Her name is Jessie. I knew her a long time ago. And collides with an obsessed movie producer. She's my most prized possession. This guy will not take no for an answer. Now, will a mad attraction... Jesse, he's harassing you. Would you mind if I spent the night here? ...turn fatal? Victor's gone crazy. He's after summer. On the next Baywatch. Saturday at 7 on TV 56. There's something happening down at Dunkin' Donuts. It's an offer that's so good, that's so special, that's so irresistible, almost everyone's going to love it. Now when you buy a dozen Dunkin' Donuts, you'll get a real lift. Every box comes with a proof of purchase worth a lot of money on these slopes. After this, it's all downhill. But hurry, this offer will only last as long as Fred will. The Massachusetts Easter Seal Society celebrates 50 years empowering people with disabilities. You can combine golf and football, wiener dogs and drag racing, sumo and high dive, even a beauty pageant and ice hockey. In fact, if you can combine great taste and less filling, you can combine just about anything. But nothing can be combined with drinking irresponsibly. That just isn't funny. Miller Lite reminds you to please think when you drink. More than a leading cleaner, Clorox Cleanup Spray wipes out tough stains. Now, be honest. Have you ever had a cat box order problem? No, never. What? Uh, you need Fresh Step cat litter, ma'am. It releases fresheners every time your cat steps. Only Fresh Step freshens with every step. You are watching director John Carpenter's Christine. She's a fury with more than good looks. She's got a mind of her own. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Burger King introduces the incredible Mega Double Cheese. It's a brand new, juicy, one-third pound, flame-broiled double cheeseburger. It's double melted cheese, extra large beef patties, flame-broiled, mouth-watering, tasty, hot, and delicious. Have it your way for just $1.99 on the everyday value menu. It's the new Mega Double Cheese, only at Burger King. Oh, did I mention it's very big? They say Cybertrim at General Nutrition Centers can tighten and tone a body. It does. They say Cybertrim supplements give you nutritional support, and its diet and exercise program can help your body be the best it can be. It does. They say Cybertrim can help you feel good about your body. They say it can even help you get the body you want. It can. Now get 33% more. Here's to your health, America, from GNC. At the Home Depot, we constantly train our employees to be better employees, to give better customer service. We carry all kinds of products. Anything that you would probably need to redo your house with, chances are we're going to have it. Like GE silicones. For all your weatherproofing needs, GE silicone caulks and sealants are a great choice for everything from sealing windows and doors to making your entire house more energy efficient. And we do everything we can as a team to help our customers to have a good experience in our store. That's the most important thing to us, period. in gear with Christine on TV 56. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news. I'm John Dupree. For Angelinos who are living on the streets, life may soon become a little more uncomfortable. Some nasty weather is in store for those still suffering Southern Californians. We'll see you at 10.
On the next Can We Shop starring Joan Rivers, it's a fun-filled show with the wacky antics of Tim Conway. I started out as a uh, television director, and as you know, a television director should be alert at all times in case you stand up. That the Whoa, gee! <laughs> you too can follow the Dorf Fitness Plan. Plus, check out the At Your Service tip for the day and find out how to give your home a facelift. One of the classic ones is to come like this and to be able to come up and touch yourself. Friday at 1 on TV 56. Oh, she's the best. My mother, she always put her family first. At our ages, she had, she was up to four or five children, and she always looked impeccably groomed. My sisters and I think, oh, what happened to us? <laughs> Victoria Schneider has never lowered the standards she grew up with, which is why she uses Dove. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. It won't dry your face like soap. I tried some harsher things, and I just ended up with dry, flaking skin. Dove makes me feel soft and young. <laughs> Think of all this as a large block of ice. Think of this as a chip off the old block. Coors Light's aged ice cold. So when you think of ice, think of the silver bullet. The only way to chill. My Emily. This was the day she got her new potty. Toilet training has been a real challenge. The leading training pants kept her so dry, it was like she was back in diapers. Now Pampers Trainers with the Feel Wet Liner let her know she's wet. New Pampers Trainers with the Feel Wet Liner is just wet enough. Uh-oh. Which may help her train. I use the potty, Mommy. She'll laugh at this picture someday. New Pampers Trainers, the new way to dress for toilet training success. Tomorrow night on Boston's big screen, it's fun for the whole family when the Stone Age joins the Space Age. The Jetsons meet the Flintstones tomorrow night. What we've got here is a rare bird, a white Purdue chicken. I don't know where it went wrong. Maybe it caught a cold. Maybe it went off its feet. All I know is that somewhere along the line, it got fouled up and lost its golden yellow color. It also lost its right to wear the Purdue name tag. Occasionally, one of my chickens disappoints me, but I make sure of one thing. It will never disappoint you. A&B Party Rentals is a family business. Oh, we get all kinds of stains on linens. Some stains are complex. The more ingredients in a stain, the tougher it is to get out. Tide's bleach like power just got better. It gets out complex stains. Even liquid detergents with bleach leave part of the stain behind, but Tide powers it out with improved stain removers. People rent here because nothing looks rented. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. I'm 55 years old, I'm still doing the laundry. My period used to make it impossible to get to sleep until I tried Nighttime Pamperin'. Nighttime Pamperin' is a soothing, hot beverage made with a pain reliever and a safe sleep aid in two pleasing flavors. Nighttime Pamperin', sweet dreams. The trainers of all major pro sports recommend one pain-relieving gel, Flexol. It works for my kind of pain and yours. From muscle strain to tendonitis, bursitis, or stiffness. Get Flexol or new maximum strength Flexol. The pain relief pro trainers recommend. When you work one job, grab something quick. Then hit job number two. How you gonna spell relief? Calcium-rich Rolaids has more calcium than regular tongues. More of what it takes to stop heartburn fast. Calcium-rich Rolaids spells calcium-rich relief. Now, back to Stephen King's Christine on TV 56. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news. The trouble with being Tanya Harding. There was quite a scene at her training arena in Portland today. I'm John Dupree. We'll bring you that story. And Nancy Kerrigan takes flight on the ice. The latest on her progress. Also, the latest on a cold snap that's sapping the energy from all of us. Join us at 10. Come on, stay up late with Phil Collins, L.A. Law's Susan Rattan, and Comic Caratop on the next Arsenio. Tonight at midnight on 56. Lipton introduces teas so relaxing, we call them Lipton Soothing Moments. herbal and flavored teas like cinnamon apple and orange and spice. Lipton's soothing moments. 
change the way you see the world, if only for a moment. Our oldest daughter is in uh, her first year of art school, and so as a result, obviously, we have some expenses there. With the Ford Red Carpet lease, we're able to drive a new car for, the, for two years with very little money down and very, very low monthly payments. For $239 a month, get this F-150 XLT with standard driver's side airbag, automatic, 5-liter engine, and more. Only at your New England Ford dealer. I would absolutely recommend the Ford Red Carpet lease to my friends. Yeah, go on. Good ball. Football. Let's watch both. Miller Lite presents Full Contact Golf. Yeah! We're still on the first hole, Bob, and this is Davis teeing it up. Here's the drive. It is blocked! Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great taste with less filling, you can combine anything. Oh, he's got daylight going for the green. Here's the putt. There's the blitz! It's good! Yeah! Oh, oh. good beer. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? It's morning at Boston Chicken. Fresh vegetables are arriving, and we're making our mashed potatoes from scratch. Throughout the day, we're roasting chicken that's been marinated overnight, sliding cornbread into the oven, and putting the finishing touches on our homemade chicken pot pies. So it's always fresh, and it's always ready at Boston Chicken. Boston Chicken, the freshest thing going. Try our homemade pot pie, baked with chunks of chicken and fresh vegetables. The officers of the Enterprise find themselves enslaved and the fate of a planet depends upon their escape. Set your phasers to stun tonight. Classic Trek at 11. Ocean Spray Refreshers. A different kind of juice drink that's not too sweet. Crisp light citrus. A not too sweet taste. Citrus refreshment you'll crave. Refreshers juice drinks. This is my Katie. I remember that morning. She slept through the night and woke up dry for the first time in ages. It must have been her new Pampers Ultra Dry Thins. They're nearly 50% thinner, with this unique Ultra Dry layer that turns white as it dries. So they work like no Pampers ever to help stop leaks better. And that means Katie stays drier. And I've got a very special memory. New Pampers Ultra Dry Thins for girls. For dry and happy babies. Put your heart into it. Be tough. I am not going to pay a lot for this muffler. By George, I think he's got it. Don't be bullied into paying a lot for a muffler. Now more than ever at Meineke, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. No, I know. You're right. <laughs> okay, I'll get that right out. Some days, it's just one interruption after another. But Magic 106.7 seems to smooth out the day. Magic plays great songs by Michael Bolton, Mariah Carey, Rod Stewart, Continuous soft rock with hardly any talk. It's perfect while you work. Mom, does grape juice stink? Yeah, it does. Magic 106.7. Continuous soft rock with hardly any talk. Do you want a whole world of entertainment right at your fingertips all day, every day? Then turn on the world-class excitement of cable TV. Call today for 24-hour news, sports, the latest music, hilarious comedy, and more. Act now and you'll get an explosive offer that brings you the planet and the stars. Tune in the excitement of Showtime with blockbuster movies, acclaimed originals, and big-time events. HBO really drives home the hits, box office favorites, and exclusive engagements. The Movie Channel has a movie anytime you want one, 24 hours a day. Cinemax has one great movie after another, over 170 a month. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME and you'll get installation for just $9.95, plus two premium channels for the price of one for one month. Don't miss out. Call now for this limited time offer and bring cable and premium TV right into your world. When the war is over, hatred may be all that remains. You are a Cardassian butcher. And prejudice can last a lifetime. Cardassians are suggesting that the Bajorans are raising these orphans to hate their own people. In matters of politics and power. I was ordered to leave them behind. Children may be the silent victims. We torture for that boy living like that. Have you come to take us back to Cardassia? On the next episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Sunday at 8 on 56. Now, you're back in the driver's seat with Christine on TV 56. It takes time and vision to make a difference. 
Less isn't more, faster isn't better, and slick doesn't cut it. Not when it comes to the stories that affect your life. Because you watch news to learn and get ahead. We take an hour to help you understand. The 10 o'clock news on TV 56. Our late news is clearly different. Keep watching. This gets interesting. We're showing you why you might want to make Prince your pasta. You see, nobody wants pasta that goes to pot as it cooks. That's why Prince is made strictly from 100% semolina, from hard amber durum wheat. And there it is. The best wheat makes the best pasta. Make a tasteful holiday centerpiece with Prince lasagna. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if all the things that were supposed to make your life easier did? If computers and faxes and all those things were as simple to use as the good old telephone. That's exactly why New England Telephone is now 9X. To help make that happen, to make everything work for you as reliably as dial tone. Always there. With helpful people you already know. Under one name, the men and women of 9X are creating a whole communication system that can get you out of the office earlier, let you shop easier, help you work more efficiently so you can dazzle them on your day job and still be great at your life's work. 9X will be the name for a lot of new things that'll make your life more manageable. I'm Mary Alice Williams. My job is to stay on top of what they're doing and keep you posted at 9X right now. Uh, I usually buy a post raisin brand. They say it's premium. Total raisin brand? Never heard of it before. The raisins are big. Tastes good. Wow, well, look at this. Total raisin brand's got 100% of all these vitamins and minerals. Post raisin brand doesn't. Not even close. This is the primo stuff. Total raisin brand. The raisin brand with the total difference. All those vitamins and minerals, and it tastes good. Can I keep this? Tomorrow night at 7, an alien force plans to use the crew of the Enterprise's guinea pigs. Face the challenge with a Star Trek The Next Generation. Tomorrow night... It's the largest camping and RV show ever held. More motor homes, more travel trailers, more fifth wheels, more park models, more campsites and accessories. It's the big one at the Bayside Expo, with over 600 units on display. See the latest from 10 trailers to 40-foot luxury motor homes. It's a camper's paradise with hundreds of campsites and recreational facilities. Take the whole family. They'll love it. The 28th Annual New England Camping and RV Show, January 22nd to the 30th, Bayside Expo Center, exit 15, Southeast Expressway. King of the road. All across America, people have discovered Plus White, the fast, easy way to remove stains from their teeth. Plus White, with the oxygenating action most dentists use to whiten teeth. It even removes coffee and tobacco stains. Plus White, it whitens teeth as no toothpaste can. Get it. Kathy, you've got your hair color highlighted. I did it myself with Washington shampoo. But what if you change your mind? It's temporary. It comes out in just one washing. One washing? What fun trying different colors. Washington shampoo. It's easy. It's fun. You know, some people think that a big screen TV like this one would be expensive. Hi, I'm Maura from Tweeter. Listen, let Tweeter make it easy for you. Buy any TV over 30 inches and make no payments and pay no interest for a full six months. So, for this Mitsubishi 45-inch Diamond Vision TV with picture-in-picture, picture, you'll pay only $67 per month and you won't have to make a single payment for six months after you buy. With a deal like this, you may just want to pick up two. Yeah, sure. His and hers matching big screens. Hey, were you guys born in a house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have we got to graze on? Nothing. Please. Now, don't be making those big cow eyes at mm, Okay. It is okay if you give them the good stuff. Mouton Snackers, Cheese and Sticks, or Cheese and Pretzels. The deliciously dippable snacks. Animals. From Mouton Snackers. We're back to Boston Big Screen on TV 56. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news. We'll follow the footsteps of the man accused of the hit on Nancy Kerrigan. Investigators say the Stoneham star was stalked on her home turf. I'm John Dupree. That story and the latest from both the Kerrigan and Harding skating camps 
tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Also tonight, new evidence your basement could be harboring a killer. An update on radon. And it's been one year in the Oval Office for the president. And what a year it's been. We'll look back into the future with John Keller tonight at 10. Before nightfall, 40,000 children will die from hunger and disease. 55 will die before I finish talking. They're dying because to most of us, they're nameless, faceless masses, too numerous to help. But they each have a name and they can be helped one by one. If you can set aside 70 cents a day, $21 a month, then please call this number and sponsor a child like Maria. Maria might be a statistic now. If it weren't for Angela Toth, a homemaker from Michigan. Before Angela sponsored Maria through Christian Children's Fund, the situation was very bad. Maria and her mother were alone and frightened. Maria's father had been kidnapped. And with no source of income, it's pretty tough to get along in this part of the country. But Maria will, thanks to Angela. Now they share pictures, letters, their joys, sadness. Thousands of children, just as precious as Maria, die every day. Not because people are heartless, but because we feel powerless. How many times have you heard child mortality statistics and thought, the problem's so big, what can I do? You can do plenty. You can pick up the phone and save one child. That's a great feeling. Meet Jose, sponsored by Scott Blevins, a Florida technician. Jose is just getting over pneumonia, which is usually fatal here. You see, where Jose lives, there's no clean water, no medicine, nothing but poverty. But with Scott's $21 a month, Christian Children's Fund is able to give Jose good food, clean water, warm clothes, and the penicillin that saved his life. The only thing we can't save you from is your school work. Christian Children's Fund can do a lot with your $21. Remember, your phone call can make a wonderful difference in the life of a child. The number for Christian Children's Fund is on your screen. Please call it. We'll send you the name and photo of a child you can sponsor. Tomorrow night on Boston's big screen, Yabba Dabba Do, it's time for fun as the spaced out future family of the Jetsons meet the Flintstones tomorrow night. Today, our most shocking case to date. During the week, Leonard Connor's a mild-mannered ad executive, but on weekends, he becomes Leonard Connor phone junkie. Friends, relatives, it doesn't matter who he calls as long as he's on the phone. His crime? Leonard didn't take advantage of Sprint's new offer to split the cost of weekend calls. But it's not too late for you. Call Sprint now and get 50% off all weekend long when you sign up for Sprint's long-distance calling plan the most. You'll get guaranteed savings automatically to the number you call most each month. And right now, you'll also save 50% on your weekend calls. That's half off every weekend from now until July 31st. So the sooner you call and switch to Sprint, the more you'll save. Call right now and they'll switch you to the most for free. There are no restrictions on area codes or times of day. And the most guarantees you savings each month because it always adjusts to the way you call long distance, automatically. And with 50% off weekends, you can talk twice as long for the same money or talk to twice as many people. But remember, it's a limited time offer. So call Sprint right now, ask for the most, and Sprint will do all the work. We figure out who you call most each month. You automatically save on every call to that person, no matter how much you spend. On top of that, you'll automatically save any time you call another Sprint customer. And if you call right now, you'll save 50% all weekend long. So you can talk twice as long or to twice as many people for the same money. Now that's great news, especially if you're a weekend phone junkie. And we know there are a lot of you out there. Turn yourself in now before it's too late. After all, an offer this good can't last forever. Don't wait. Call now, 1-800-927-1010, and save 50% all weekend long. Hey, stay tuned for the 10 o'clock news coming up right after tonight's movie. Christine continues on TV 56. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Nancy Kerrigan takes flight on ice while her rival seems to be down. Is she out? The weather outside is still frightful and keeping warm can be dangerous. President Clinton celebrates one year in office, but is it truly a happy anniversary?
take you to the Rockus Rock Hall of Fame induction, next on the 10 o'clock news. How long are you going to be training right now? Not answering your questions, I said. Tanya Harding appears to be feeling the pressure, just as Nancy Kerrigan appears to be flourishing. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Dupree. And I'm Susan Corwin. Karen is off again tonight. A rare display of emotion from Tanya Harding, just one day after her ex-husband was arrested for the attack on fellow skater Nancy Kerrigan. Sports director Michael Barkan joins us with more on today's developments, including some very good news for Nancy Kerrigan. Michael. Absolutely. And I don't think Tanya Harding thought it would get like this. The pressure of the Nancy Kerrigan investigation seems to be getting to Tanya Harding. Today, the media scrutiny continues in Portland. In today's Oregonian, Harding's bodyguard, Sean Eckhart, again says that Tanya Harding knew of the planned Kerrigan assault. The paper quotes Eckhart as saying that Harding grew impatient over the delay in assaulting Kerrigan. Eckhart quotes Harding as saying, you know you need to stop screwing around with this and get it done. Harding, perhaps thinking her life will return to normal as she prepares for the Olympics, snarls at media members today as she heads to practice. Have you spoken with Jeff since I haven't asked? spoke with anybody, okay? How long are you going to be training right now? Not answering your questions, I said. So leave me alone for right now. I'll talk to you when I can. That's how Tanya Harding responded to the latest round of media attention. Heading to her first public practice since the U.S. Championships, Harding took shelter inside the skating rink's locker room, obviously upset at the press corps. Her coach, Diane Rollinson, tried to calm her down. The smiles came back at practice, though, where Harding nailed five triple axles and continued to push toward Norway. I go out there and I landed every single one of my jumps. So Afterward, she stopped days. long enough to hold an informal news conference. She said nothing about the Kerrigan investigation, but she urged her fans to keep the faith. I have to do what I have to do to train. And if I can't train at night, then I'm going to train when I normally do. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to let somebody try and run my life. Do you feel some support? Oh, yeah. Everybody's supporting me, and it's really neat. Um, it, it's really nice to see that people still believe in me, and um, I hope they still remain to believe in me. Olympic yeah. officials, Tanya, said that they thought it, it would make it easier if you, would, if you would withdraw. Have you ever considered withdrawing? No. Do you have anything you want to say to Nancy Kerrigan at all? I have nothing to say right now. And with that, Harding ended the news conference saying, see you later, I'm going shopping. As for Nancy Kerrigan, she finished her fifth day on the ice, and as you'll hear later in sports, her coaches say Kerrigan continues to get stronger. In fact, this morning, for the first time since her attack, she attempted and completed her first double axle. That's two and a half revolutions in the air. So that certainly is good news out of the Kerrigan camp today, John. We hear from Colorado Springs that the phone calls from the public to the office of the USOC say 100 to 1 kick. Ms. Harding off the team, but this is no popularity contest. I mean, the courts may have something to say about this. Does the USOC dare touch her eligibility now? I think if Tanya Harding is found to be directly implicated in this investigation, in the assault, she's off the team, no questions asked. I think anything else, all bets are off, and she's going to go, especially in this day and age where everyone wants to sue. I think they're going to hold off and, and perhaps uh, if she is implicated, but not directly so, hope perhaps she falls on her on her butt in uh, Lillehammer. All right. We'll see More you back here a little sports. bit later in sports, Michael. Thank okay. you. As we told you last night, the warrant against Harding's husband alleges that a hitman was sent to the Bay State to attack Kerrigan. Tonight, Kathy Callan follows the footsteps laid out in that affidavit as they wind from Boston to the Cape. 494, uh, State of Oregon versus Sean Stant. Sean Stant has admitted he traveled to Boston to carry out a plot to injure Nancy Kerrigan. He checked into the Logan Airport Hilton on December 29th and stayed two nights. But while he was in East Boston, his target, Kerrigan, was skating at a Cape Cod rink. On New Year's Eve, authorities say Stant headed to the Cape and checked into this Yarmouth hotel. The staff isn't commenting, saying only that he arrived at a time when the place was packed with holiday revelers. While Stant's presence may have gone unnoticed, a phone call made from this hotel did not. Phone records reveal a call was placed to the Tony Kent Arena where Kerrigan practices. But because it was a holiday, she had taken the weekend off. 
On Monday, the day before she left town for Detroit, Mother Nature provided another obstacle for Stant. The weather was very bad, so we worked a little harder that day, and I told her to leave early. On Monday, another call came into the rink. According to phone records, the call was made from the home of Tanya Harding and Jeff Galuli. Some have speculated if Stant had been able to strike at the secluded Tony Kent Arena, he would have had more opportunity to inflict serious injury. Her coach refuses to consider the possibility, saying it's bad enough he was on the cape. It's a total violation. I mean, I am as shocked as anybody. I didn't know about this until yesterday on the news that he was in this area, and it yeah, kind of gives you the creeps. When Kerrigan returns to the rink next week, there will be increased security, and her practices will be closed to her fans. Very sad. It's a shame because um, we like being open to everyone, and this is kind of, you know, made it difficult to be open to everyone that uh, that we built this place for. As it turns out, Kerrigan wasn't the only one affected by the January 6th attack. Kathy Kalman, the 10 o'clock news. The Kerrigan attack is also prompting the Cape Cod rink to re-examine security for all its skaters. Well, from the ice to sub-zero temperatures and fires. Temperatures have New England residents going to great lengths to stay warm these days. Many are turning to space heaters. Many are misusing them. Terrell Harris reports tonight what happens when they do. In North Reading, firefighters battle a blaze that goes to a third alarm. In Brighton, just 16 days ago, another fire. This one officials determined was caused by a space heater. The frequency of fires increases during the winter months each year as people try to stay warm. But too often they become warm and careless. Boston Fire and Aetna Insurance set up this simulation to show how quickly carelessness causes destruction. Within 10 seconds, there's smoke and flames. Three minutes, that fire went from a little, a little spark, a little fire under the bed to where you could not stand up in that room. Officials say portable and space heaters present the greatest risk of starting fires because operators can and often do make errors installing, maintaining, or using the heaters. The people are bringing these extra heaters into their houses. They're putting them in their children's rooms, in their own rooms. They're very dangerous. Uh, you should try to avoid, the, at, avoid using them at all costs. But officials say if Boston residents were educated, there would be fewer house fires. So they introduced a brochure called the 10-Minute Fire Safety Audit. It's 38 common sense tips that can help prevent disaster in your home, room by room. Tips like don't leave cooking unattended, keep exhaust fans, stoves, and ovens free of grease, and keep fire extinguishers in the kitchen. The hope is that focusing on the problem will prompt a decline in the numbers, saving lives and property. In Boston, Terrell Harris, the 10 o'clock news. The Boston Fire Department hopes today's demonstration will convince residents to conduct their own fire safety audits. It is offering this guidebook, printed by Aetna Insurance. Fire officials urge you to contact your insurance carrier and find out if it has such a guidebook. Even without the danger of fire trying to keep warm, the cold all by itself is deadly. More than 100 people have perished across the country from the Arctic air. Tonight, Jim Smith is live in that cold, now with the latest on how New Englanders are coping. Jim? Good evening, Susan. I do not want to go overboard, but I can say with uh, some degree of optimism that things are slowly getting better. The temperature behind me seems to alternate uh, variably between 6 and 7 degrees. That is an improvement. It does feel a little bit better out here tonight. And one of the big reasons why is the wind chill factor is down. But make no mistake about it, we're not out of the woods just yet. This is the National Weather Service office located at the Blue Hill Observatory, Milton, Massachusetts. Tonight, clear and cold, low zero to ten above. The all-time record at the summit of the Blue Hills was minus 21 on February 9th, 1934. But it felt almost that cold here tonight. The top of Big Blue offers the perfect spot to sample the elements and gaze out over a frozen city. They tell me it might even hit the 20s tomorrow, but that was no comfort tonight. Degrees were in short supply, but there was a wide variety of headgear. It's a good winter hat, I must say. It's got this nice, thick fur along, along the edge, so it's and, nice and warm. And how about the foil on top? Were you the tin man? <laughs> no, I can't say that I was. At the public garden tonight, we couldn't find Mrs. Mallard and her ducklings. 
but we did find this couple getting in a brisk skate. It's been pretty cold, but tonight it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The ice is a little choppy, but it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Even during the day, the mercury refuses to rise, and parts of the harbor look like they are icebound. This tug was able to break through, but commuter boats from the south shore were delayed. The driving wasn't much better, thanks to potholes. Ouch! And then there's the parking issue. It seems the tickets are being written like they're going out of style. Take a look at this Boston street, a street where a man got a ticket for parking more than a foot from the curb. This is an insult to the residents and the taxpayers of this city, and I am quite upset. Cold like this and parking tickets too? Think I'll give up and go back into my igloo and hibernate until spring, or at least until spring training. And we are back live. As you can see here in Dorchester, the temperature is 7 degrees. Obviously, I was managed to be coaxed back out of that igloo because, after all, I had a live shot to do. Probably uh, not the last live shot, unfortunately, on some wintry and uh, cold weather here in New England. But uh, as, as we mentioned, uh, it should moderate a little bit within the next couple of days. A piece of good news, heating oil supplies, they tell us, are in good supply still here in Massachusetts. And even the major electricity crisis appears to have passed for the Northeast, but they're still advising people, when possible, to take it easy on the electricity. That's the latest from out here. Getting better. Back to you. And Jim, where's your hat? You should have a hat on. I know it. Well, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting kind of used to it after, uh, what, uh, more than a week of this kind of weather. And again, because the wind is not blowing a lot, uh, it doesn't feel that bad. I'm sure Mike Wonkham knows a lot more about that stuff, but it feels better to me anyway. Okay, very good indeed. Get in and get warm. Thanks so much, Jim. Mike Wonkham does indeed join us now with the early bird forecast. And tomorrow is going to seem, what, downright balmy compared to the past it's, couple you of know, days. If we, if we send Jim out there tomorrow night, I think he'll be in a T-shirt and short pants. Uh, he's just getting that used to it, and it is going to be warming up that nice across the area. Still, though, it is very, very chilly, way below normal for this time of year. In fact, let's see what, how cold it is outside right now. Jim showed us in Dorchester that it's sitting right now at 7 degrees. But here's the big ingredient tonight. Look at the wind chill indexes. Remember last night, they were running at 20 and 30 below. Tonight, wind chill indexes are running at about 11 below here in Boston, and the temperature at the airport is at 11 degrees above zero. Out to the west, temperatures around zero, but up towards New Hampshire still, we're looking at temperatures below zero tonight. And that pretty well spells out the way things are going to be. Another cold night in store.